Greetings, everybody. For your weekly word of hope, I come to you in the children's department. As they, you can see, the beautiful mural they painted on the wall with the cross. They have been painting and cleaning and getting everything ready for when they can begin to come back. So we'll keep you posted. It's still down the road, but we'll keep you posted as when they can come back. But I want to bring you greetings today from the Word of Hope here in the children's department. Just down the hallway are my grandchildren, and it's exciting that they're here in the preschool as well as the first grade. And I was just trying, as I was thinking about all the kids and the children, I was thinking about, especially when you remember when you were a child, and you remember what you liked to do and what you were good at, and then as you got older, you started realizing there are certain things you can't do. There's things we can do, the things you can't do. But let me just ask you, what are you good at? What do you like to do? What are you not good at? Oftentimes, leadership people will tell us to focus on your strengths and don't focus on your weaknesses. And oftentimes we try to do that and we try to go through life. But today I'd like to look at it on a whole nother level. I would like to look at our lives beyond what we think we can do and can't do to start realizing the God-sized things that we could do. I want to look at the possibilities that are endless with our God. In fact, the Apostle Paul writes to the church in Ephesians, the Ephesus church, and he says to them as he's praying for them in the third chapter, I pray for the power of God and through Christ to be with you and strengthen you. And as he's doing that, in verse 30, he says, And now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or even imagine, according to to his power that is at work within us. What if God surprised you this day, this week, and for the rest of your life, daily surprising you, doing immeasurably more than you could ever think or ask or even imagine? Open yourself to possibilities. Say, God, surprise me. Surprise me today. Surprise me this week. Surprise me in my life for possibilities that I could never dream possible, that I think maybe I couldn't do, but you know I can do. Let God's possibilities bring hope to you like never before. And that is our hope for the week. Let's bow for prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you. As you have created us, we're your children. And through Christ, how you showed your love, now with the power of Christ within us. Be at work. Help us as we pray, Lord. Help us to imagine. Help us to ask and even begin to dream for possibilities that we never would have even considered. Stir our hearts. Bring that hope into our lives on a level that only you can bring. As always, we pray in Jesus' name, amen.